Happy Thursday. We're gonna be doing some biking today. In the warm up, every each round, you're gonna be biking for 30 seconds. Increase the intensity each round. Then we'll do three inchworm push ups. Hinge at the hips, bring your hands to the floor, inch your hands forward into the plank, and then perform one push up, and then inch your hands back, standing up after each rep. So you'll do three of those, then you'll lay down. We'll do uh, 30 seconds of glute bridge walkout. Should be able to get three or four reps in, drive the hips to extension. On the heels, you're gonna walk your feet forward into a arch position or a hollow position, and then walk your heels back into that glute bridge. So you'll do three rounds, 30 seconds per position. For a uh, barbell warm-up for, uh, for a deadlift day, usually recommend just doing 10 good mornings. Barbell's on the back. Push the hips and knees back as you hinge, keeping the lower back straight and flex the whole time. And then bring the barbell forward into the hang and perform 10 Romanian deadlifts. Push the hips and knees back, lower the upper body uh, roughly parallel with the floor. Focus on keeping the barbell pulled back to the thighs and shins, not letting it travel forward uh, more than one inch off the body. Then we'll do a little bit of mobility. You'll do a barbell straddle stretch. So sit in front of a barbell with your feet as wide as you can get them out at the end of the barbell and then use that barbell to pull yourself forward. If you don't have a barbell, you can do this um, with a dumbbell or a PVC pipe um, or an upright, anything like that. Then lay on a foam roller we're gonna do a barbell thoracic opener. So you want your shoulder blades, the widest part of your back, on that foam roller, extend your arm straight, and then grab onto your barbell. Depending on your shoulder flexibility, you might have your hands at shoulder width here, or you might need to go out to a snatch grip. You can do this with your hips off the ground or your hips on the ground. Again, dependent on your uh, mobility level. So one minute in the barbell thoracic opener. The workout is deadline. 15 minutes, as many rounds as possible. 12 or nine calories on the bike. Let's make sure we're scaling to whatever machine we're using or whatever distance we're doing to complete this under a minute every time. Then we'll perform nine heavy deadlifts. 275 for men, 185 for ladies. So in class, we'll spend a good bit of time warming up and practicing the deadlift before hopping into the workout. We wanna hinge at the hips. We push the hips and knees back behind us. The barbell should make contact with the floor close to the shins, just above the shoelaces. Lower back stays straight the whole time. Then another 12 or nine calorie bike, and then nine strict handstand push-ups. Feel free to break these up into smaller sets so you can stay moving for the 15 minutes. Make sure you're not slamming your head into the ground. We want to lower under control, bringing the head to make contact in the tripod position, so a little closer to the wall than the hands. For the home gym variation, we'll grab a pair of dumbbells. We'll perform 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3 reps of double dumbbell deadlifts. So we're going to have a narrow stance with our feet. One head of the dumbbell touches the floor between the feet on every rep. Since the dumbbells travel lower than the barbell, uh, make sure you're keeping your lower back as tight as you can at the bottom to avoid rounding due to those extra one or two inches range of motion. You're gonna pair that with hand release push-ups. Want the hands just slightly wider than the shoulders. You're gonna lower to the floor, pick up the hands, and then press back up. Wanna to try to make sure we're controlling the descent as well as the actual push-up. We don't wanna drop to the floor when we start getting tired, but maintaining control for the full range of motion of this movement. Have a great Thursday, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. 